Hey y'all, so I wanted to show y'all another one of my DIY projects. Um, this was a hit or miss piece. This is a little lamp that I made uh, for the new house. I made this when I was still in my old house. And I got the inspiration from a video that I saw on another DIY channel. Um, I don't know if y'all know this about me, but my I have I do suffer anxiety, so I don't have patience. Like it's like a something that I don't have. And when I was putting this together, um, I was getting irritated and um, annoyed. So I, when I was trying to glue the piece together, I just started wrapping uh, tape around it. And you can see the lines from the tape, and that just looks really bad. But anyway, so this project, um, the original DIYer, she used um, some... I'm, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take my shade off so y'all can see everything okay so at the base down here this is one of those little plaque pictures that you can buy from like Dollar Tree they like shaped like a plaque you gotta excuse this this is right behind my um one of my fish tanks so I got all the fish products behind here so anyway and I <laughs> look don't be look y'all see that toilet tissue roll okay <laughs> I just thought it needed a little bit more um to be st steady but it really didn't need that but anyway so i took a um a, a plaque type uh picture um what they call them i don't know if they call it canvas i don't know one of those little cheap out of the dollar tree and i turned it upside down and i spray painted it okay spray painted go now these are two um this is two rows of cheap one dollar out of the dollar tree um, gift wrapping paper. What she used was, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a PVC pipe or something like that. I can't. She used a PVC pipe or uh, uh, one of those cheap dollar broomsticks or something like that. I can't remember because it's been a while. And I just got two sets of the, the Dollar Tree lights, the Christmas lights, the white ones. And I just wrapped. Okay, okay, so. I cut a hole in the bottom of the canvas thing, right? And then I stuck the um, gift wrapping paper. I actually stuck a whole roll of gift wrapping paper inside of the other roll of gift wrapping paper. Because y'all know at the Dollar Tree, they be cheap. And you can, you know, just kind of squeeze it and bend it. So there's actually two for, for reinforcement. Y'all can see that? Like, at any time, I can take the other one out and start wrapping gifts with it. Because it's not even necessary anymore. But at the time, I just wanted it to be really sturdy. But it's very sturdy. It's standing here. It ain't going nowhere. So anyway, I cut a little um, area, a little hole, and I just forced it down in there. And I took my hot glue gun, and I glued it together. I added this uh, toilet tissue uh, thing just for it to make it stable. I wrapped the lights around, and that's that whole part. Now, for my shade, which I'm going to put it back on here. When it's not on here, it actually looks a whole lot better, y'all. <laughs> but for the shade, what I did was I um, took, I think it was about five packs. Of, I took five packs of those little um, clear um, cutting boards that you can get from Dollar Tree. I think I have one in my kitchen and I can show you what it looks like. I thought I had one in my kitchen, but I don't. But anyway, they're like the clear... This is what they look like. They're clear, uh, very flexible. And so what you, what I did was I fold them all in half and I hot glue gunned them until I made this into a, like a square. So y'all can see all the hot glue residue in there. So basically I glued it around. It looks so pretty up in there. It look all elegant, pretty. Anyway, I um I hot glued it around together. Um, didn't have to do any cutting on the mats. Just glued them. And made them into like a square and then kind of like stacked them. Um, so I think it was like two and a half. Oh, wait, I did cut one. I cut a half one. I think I did. I can't remember. But anyway. And then I just basically um, glued it together. And like I said, it wasn't coming along the way I wanted it to. So I just started wrapping tape around it. Um, you just have to have some patience to do projects like this. And I, and I just truly lack the patience that's needed. Because if y'all can see, I was even getting annoyed with the spray paint. <laughs> but I think it helps because it makes it where you can actually see the lights sh shimmer through. The, the areas that I didn't spray paint 
as thick you can actually see the light so when this is turned on at night because right now it's daytime you can't really see the full effect but at night you can really see a little little glare from it you can see that it is something that's lit up over here it ain't just wasting energy <laughs> but um so this is another diy project it was a little lamp and i just put it behind my little um my little um aquarium that i have in my front room entryway room whatever you want to call it tell me what y'all think i know it could have been better okay and this was one of my first diy projects that i did um for the new house and i just still like it maybe one day i'll go back and redo it <laughs>